Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today we're back here on Farming Simulator 2022, as you guys can see here. Now for today's Farming Simulator 2022 video, guys, I am going to be sharing with you guys the exact way to get third-party mods here on Farming Simulator 2022. Now, keep in mind, this is for PCs only. You currently, as of right now, are unable to even with the newest Xboxes and PS5, you cannot get third-party mods on Farming Sim 19 or Farming Sim 2022 if you are on console. It's that simple. I've tried, many other people have tried, and as of right now, you cannot get third-party mods on your consoles. However, it's actually very easy to do on PCs. So that's why I'm here on my PC today, and I'm gonna hop straight into the exact way to do it. Now, the method I use to get my third-party mods is about as easy as it gets. I've been using this method since Farming Simulator 19, and the process is almost the same. So let's hop straight into it. So first things first, go ahead and open up a tab on any web browser, doesn't matter. Uh, I prefer to use Chrome. Now that I have a tab opened up, you're gonna go up here and type in Mod Network. As you guys can see, I've been on it recently. So you're going to want to go ahead and select that. Once you click that link and you are brought to this page here, you're going to want to find a mod that you like. Now also keep in mind you can download multiple at one time. But I pretty much have all these mods, so I think I'm just going to go with this new mod I've yet to download. And that is going to be the 1988 GMC 1500. Now as you guys can see, you can see the file size, the downloads, the likes, no license, console support, no, just stuff like that. As well as the description and as well as the creator right under the name. Now how do you download the mod you may ask? About as simple as it looks. You go right here and you select download. Now real quick I'd like to mention, I've checked out many different mod websites where you can download third party mods off of that are not created by Farm Simulator 2022 devs. And a lot of them they just, they're just they just surrounded by ads, like you don't know what you're clicking on most of the time. They make it tricky in other words to get just the mod you're looking at. You click on a mod, you want to download it, they kind of make it tricky. So that's why I like Mod Network because they have a huge selection. You can sort through what you're looking for, what kind of mods you want. There's many different ones and once you click on one, you can hit download and go back to your list here. As you guys can see, it's still downloading. Go back to your list. So let's say, I mean, I'm pretty sure I already have this one. Download two. Let's say I want this. I mean, I don't really want this. Let's see. You know what? Let's, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this real quick. So you can go up to the top here. So whenever you click on Mod Network here, as you guys can see, here's their index. You can get Snowrunner mods, uh, Farm Sim 19 mods. And this is exactly where I've been getting all my Farm Sim 19 mods right here. And as well as my Farm Sim 2022 mods. So you're going to want to select that. As you guys can see, there's a couple different things to select. Right now we're on newest mods. There's also different categories like your filters so you can find exactly what you want. And for popular mods right here, it's as uh, simple as it gets, your popular mods. So they make it pretty simple to say the least. So as you guys can see, my GMC 1500 has just gone ahead and finished downloading. Now once you have your one mod or your multiple mods completed their download, I'm gonna want to close out of these here real quick. Okay, now there's no ads on the screen. So, you can access this file right here if you open up your file explorer and go to downloads, as you guys can see right here. Here's our mod. Now, I already have my mod folder pinned, as you guys can see, FS2022, and then they're still called mods because I'm, I'm not going to change like the in-game file name for mods where you can find them. But as you guys can see, if I click on this one on the bottom, I know this is for FS19 mods and this one's for my FS22 mods. Now, how do I add them there? Obviously, I just uh, go ahead and drag this one. Oops. Go ahead and drag this one in there. But I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to show you guys real fast how to find mods here. And it's really actually simple. So go up here to Documents. Go to My Games. Select Farming Simulator 2022. Select Mods. And you can pin it like I did. So once it's pinned, well, actually, I guess I can just go to Downloads here. Yep, and then just go right to that one. Move to Mods. And now it's in my mods folder. Really just as simple as that. Now I'm going to double check. So that was a GMC 1500. So now what I can do is quit Farming Simulator 2022. Relaunch it. And when I go to load up a map, I can now select that mod along with all my other ones. And I can load into the game with it. 
All right, we are now loaded in. So selecting career here, going over to my first map because I'd like to join that map. Let's scroll down to the only one I do not have selected here and that's going to be our 1988 GMC 1500 so now I can what I like to do whenever I download multiple new mods as you guys can see here's all my other mods as well most of these aren't in-game mods they're all from mod network I really haven't downloaded any of these mods from other websites except from mod network and I'd like to make it clear they did not sponsor me or ask me to make this video I'm just it's just my honest opinion I have that's the only mod website I've been using <laughs> since I've been playing 19 and 2022 but as I was going on about, really, whenever I download one or more mods, multiple mods, and I want them all selected, I just hit Y. Well, well my controller died. Well, I guess that's alright. And uh, it died. So, you can actually go on here to deselect all and then reselect them so that I have all my mods, all the new mods I download, and all my current ones, too, as well. And then you can uh, join in your game. Once loaded in here, go ahead and go here and go down to Cars, find your mod. Let's go ahead and locate ourselves right here. Our 88 GMC 1500. So this is our new mod. And then from there, I guess I can do customizations to it. Or, I'd, or I guess I don't really want to. So we can buy it. And let's do this here. Let's go and find it. Well, I guess, well, maybe. Okay, here it is right here. And now that is from start to finish how I put mods in my game. My third party, my third party mods from websites. So that is it for today's video. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy or find today's video helpful. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. Make sure to turn on those post notifications to never miss a new daily video from me. And with that guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to measure us guys day or night. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.